we're going to react to, because a lot of people have been saying I haven't been reacting to, um, been reacting to some music too, um, Maury Briscoe. We're going to be reacting to Nas Blicky featuring Maury Briscoe begging you. I'm begging, begging you. I could tell it's a sample already just by the name of the song. I know, and I can bet money. And word to everything, I never heard this shit. I can bet money that that's what the sample is. I might be wrong. Let's see. Oh, I was right. Yo, Nas, take advice from me, man. Get that pill shit a break. You look mad stupid, bro. Like, no funny shit. It's not an insult. This is actually good advice I'm giving you. You look stupid. Like, you look slow in your videos. You know, it's not a good look. You know what I'm saying? It's not a good look at all. Like, that shit, you got to get that pill shit a break. I swear if you get that pill shit a break and you focus on that music for a good month, bro, you can revive yourself and come back and be as lit as you was. But that pill shit, niggas is really saying, watching your videos, laughing at you, talking down on you. And I watch your interview, and the type of shit you say, it sounds like you got some type of head on your shoulders. You can't be out here popping pills, lacking, and getting shot, my nigga. Sober the fuck up, be on point, nigga, and get in the studio. Like, real nigga shit, bro. I know a lot of your people, just, they do the same shit you do, so it's, it's, like, it's like a habit, and you got to do it. But nigga, break away from that shit. Give niggas a break. Spend some time with you. You... And focus on your music, bro. And don't pop no pills. I'm telling you. You can hear the pill talk, like the way he slurred and pronouncing his words. On my top, I niggas hell go. Ali gon' hit him short through his coat. On my opposition, you ready know. Better not like all my niggas go. That's crazy looking at his visuals, right? I know a lot of blicky niggas got indicted and shit. But if you go back to looking at his visuals when he was litter. It was a lot more people and it was different crowds. Now it looks like it's just the young little niggas that's coming up around there now, like the younger niggas that's younger than him type shit. Tell us nothing left. Now he was feeling out of breath. Look, goofy ran into his death. Don't run, nigga. I ain't dancing for clout, niggas know how I rock. Top up, keep running the top. Mention him beat us a whole lot of shots. Jump at Addy, we clean that block. Yeah, these niggas dead look alike though, for real. Like you could dead like See that niggas is related, they look alike. You know what's funny? It's like niggas backtracking because when Pop Smoke died, niggas was sending condolences and shit like that. And then these bars, it's like you guys got to give it up. You feel me? Like, certain things you guys got to give up because now it looks like niggas are only saying certain bars for the attention it grabs. Niggas got to stray away from that because if niggas keep gravitating to just saying certain shit because the attention it brings, niggas going to have more problems than solutions. Niggas got to... Don't let, don't let that go over niggas' heads. Niggas going to have a lot more problems than solutions. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga... Y'all niggas, y'all niggas can make music, bro. Make music, like fuck all that other shit, bro. Make music. Sometimes, yo, bro, if you really get in your bag and you focus on your music, not saying that your ops are gonna forgive you, but they might forget about you for a while, bro. Now, when you mentioning niggas all the time, niggas make it their duty to find you. You know what I'm saying? You see, like, it look crazy. And this, I'm saying this out of realness. It's not a shot at nobody. But it's like, you on a song with Nas, right? Nas got shot more than one time. And he's dissing still. 
And then you just said that line, this person, this, and it got hit in his neck. So, like, no funny shit. Me as a friend, like me rapping with my mans and shit, and knowing my mans got hit, and I would really be like, yo, I, I probably would erase that bar. You know what I'm saying? For me, I probably would erase that ball. Like, damn, son, shit. I'm gonna track with bro, bro just got hit. You know what I'm saying? I would erase that ball because that's what people thinking when they listen to the music. I'm the one who says what people think. People just too scared to say. You feel me? That's what people think. Niggas like, what? This nigga over here talking about this nigga got shot. You wanna track the nigga that got shot? And this is how the fans really laugh and clown niggas. Like, niggas really gotta really start. Real nigga shit, bro. Like, really think, bro. Tissy with me, he itching the clip and we feeding the catch as a woo, nigga. Okay. Like wait, four five and it's tough by the race. Fucking now we be told no ace. Drop in the race, you shot in your face. Brody passed me the knock from a bug out. Graduated, but call me a gun up. Put the foot to the seven, my gun up. Brody keep clicking that shit till he run up. So why these niggas look like they was about RPT just now? All my opposites ready, no. Better not like all my niggas go. Her would go and tell there's nothing left. Now he woozy feeling out of breath. Look, goofy ran into his death. Don't run, nigga. On my top, I niggas they'll go. I like gon' hit him through his coat. On my opposites, you already know. Better not like all my niggas go. Heard we're going till there's nothing left. Now he pussy feeling out of breath. Look, goofy, ready to his death. Don't run, nigga. OTF, we posted in the checks. Get you looking to go on the set. Big dog, nigga, I'm a threat. No one beat, I teed out to the chest. Niggas mad, I ain't die like Tony. One call, you can end like. Had to sweat, I'm fucking over pills. We the reason niggas drop hat. If he too silly, that nigga flat. All they dead niggas in a pack. Yo, you know what's funny, bro? Like, it's not funny, but it's funny. Like, think about it, bro. I don't have no niggas that I was cool with that I beef with now. Like, no funny shit. I have no niggas that I was friends with that I beef with now. You know what I'm saying? I like real nigga shit. It looks crazy. Now I mean? When you beef with niggas that you was friends with. When now we, we not talking about... Friends is and oh yeah, we say what up to each other and shit like we talk about friends where niggas was coming in your house, chilling in your house, y'all niggas in B and B's together, smoking, drinking, and y'all niggas always round each other. That that's the friends I'm talking about, right? It's crazy how you can go from that to smoking on a nigga you used to chill with. How does anybody see that as any type of loyalty or any type of realness or any type of real gangster? Like, how the fuck you were chilling with a nigga? The nigga died before y'all separated, and now you smoking on a nigga, but you was cool with him. He don't even know y'all beefing now. The nigga been gone, and he, you know what I'm saying? And it's just an analogy I'm using because it, it should be weird, like how niggas be cool and then end up beefing and then really going at it like, it's, like yo, I really hate your guts. So it means there was never no love there to begin with. That's why I always warn you young niggas about this link up shit. Link up shit, man. That shit is goofy, man. Free six or miss get him black. Nigga, watch this knock on me clap. No more fun, we slide on the eyes. No nigga straight high, nigga playing they block. I got hit, I ain't trying to move hot. If a nigga move sus on nigga, he shot. Niggas broke, I can tell by they fit. You got hit, you ain't trying to move hot. If a nigga move sus about Nick, he get shot. I got hit, I ain't tryna move hot. If a nigga move sus on Nick, he shot. Niggas broke, I can tell by they fit. All the wool niggas died, they get back sense. I'm married, cut him, powder smoking deal. Rolling through by chilling by the seashore. On my top, I niggas hell go. Ellie gon' hit him, throw his coat. All my officers ready, no. Yo, no funny shit though. I really gotta ask niggas this shit. Sometimes it ain't woo niggas doing shit to blicky niggas. And sometimes it ain't blicky niggas doing shit to woo niggas. I really want to know why niggas don't be dissing the people who doing shit to them, actually. I be baffled with that sometimes. I ain't gonna front. I really like at one point I really had I really had some type of faith in Nas. Like I really thought Sun would have been one of the niggas who would have got signed next and went up. Like Sun was consistent, Sun was dropping valid tracks and shit. You know what I'm saying? But then again, you gotta understand sometimes when you associate with certain people, you get dragged into the ignorance and then the ignorance blur your vision and then you just be trapped and then when you cannot do anything no more 
everybody drops you and then you're like you you trying to now you're trying to keep yourself afloat again and you're trying to get back but you done lost your way already and the people who really was supporting you, they not supporting you no more because you didn't went against so many different grains. You went to beef with that nigga, you was cool with this nigga, and then you beef with that nigga. Now all those people who are fans of you, they don't like you now because they picked a side and shit like that. That's why in no filter I said I ain't with the pick side, dick rod shit. Dick rod is dick rod this. The gun got a beam, so it mean I won't miss. Like real nigga shit. Like all that pick side, dick rod shit, you're not gonna catch me in. Chef G and them niggas, that's the dogs in them. Siggy and them niggas, that's the dogs in them. They got beef with each other. Guess who not involved? Me. I don't got nothing to do with that. You know what I'm saying? Some of you niggas choose to be so mixy, y'all want to pick a side and say, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm loyal to this. I'm lo no, nigga. You got to be loyal to you before you can be loyal to anybody. You feel me? Real nigga shit. Now, you know how to mind your business. You won't have problems. Like, picture you pick a side now, and then now you got to shoot at niggas you was cool with. How could you look at yourself and say, I'm a real nigga, if you want to kill your friend? A nigga that you would have killed for, you want to kill. You know I'm saying? It should just be weird sometimes. And I guess everybody built different, you feel what I'm saying? Word. Everybody built different. But at the end of the day, as far as the song goes, I give it a 7.5. Maury Briscoe and Nas, they definitely got potential and they definitely could go further. They just got to really lock in and focus up. Nas got to get back in the bag with that auto tune shit he was doing and really lock in, like, focus, bro. Now y'all are sounding like the niggas before. Like, y'all sounding like how it used to be with y'all. Y'all used to be like, oh, everybody wanted this is for clout. Now, if you look at it, the woo niggas are, are ahead of y'all and y'all are dissing them. So now what it looks like, you know what I'm saying? Like, really just focus up and lock in, bro. Some people going to take it as hate, but the smart niggas going to take it as advice and they going to elevate, you know what I'm saying? But anyway... Y'all niggas comment in the comment section below. Let me know if y'all feel like I rated too high or too low. 7.5. You get me?